Hey, cool, baby. Thank you guys for continuing to support the channel. We're going to see what messages Spirit has for you guys today. All right, Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. And since this is the hottest of the day, well, I'm going to channel the energy on my foot right there. So thank you, Spirit. So what's going on? We're going to do a past, um, future, and present. Okay, past, future, present. All right, so let's look at this past energy right quick with this four of wands. Spirit. Spirit, what's going on with this four of wands for my collective star? Okay. So I'm getting like, some of you guys could have been, you were at a house when you met someone who looked, they were shining bright that day. We're at some building. It looks like a house, but it could be, this could be work. This could be the gym. You were at some building where there were other people gathering, okay? And you saw this person, and he was just like, wow. Some of y'all should be doing one of the queries. I just saw 155 on the phone. You were like, wow, oh my God, who is that? And I feel like you asked about who this person was. Okay, yep, with the six of wands. So whoever this is that you met with this star, there were a lot of people. They got a lot of attention or they got a lot of your attention. It's almost like time froze when you met this person. You could have saw yourself being married to this person. Like whoever I'm talking to is like a deep thinker, like Virgo energy or like a air energy. They really analyze shit. And I feel like when you met this person, you was just like, man, like this could be the person, like this could be my one, okay? What else, spirit? All right, that wanted to go. So then you have the two of swords. I do feel like some people was trying to tell you not to talk to this person. Some of y'all could have had a little hater or something. Yep, seven of swords. Can't make it up. Somebody was trying to tell you not to get involved. And or if there was not an outside influence trying to tell you not to get involved, you were lying to yourself. Like, no, I can't do this. I can't fall. Look, but look, this is what flipped over. You came closer than anyone. That's what I'm telling you. It's like time stood still when you met this person. But for some reason, you didn't allow yourself to get involved like you wanted to. And I feel like you tried to resist this. Or hell, maybe they even tried to resist you. Maybe they tried to act like they weren't into you. And I feel like y'all could have even mirrored each other. Both of you, because I see these two swords standing here. So th the two of you could have acted as if you weren't really interested, but you really were. Yeah, I feel like both of y'all, 11, 11, this could be twin flames. Both of you guys were mirroring each other. Both of y'all was acting like y'all was not interested or you, you were really guarding and you wouldn't let the other in. It's like when you guys would talk, you wouldn't say what you was really feeling. You wouldn't say what you was really thinking out of fear that the other person wasn't thinking the same. Y'all were marrying each other. Okay? Wow. The magician. It's like both of y'all are magicians. Both of you guys are chosen. Both of you guys have the ability to... You had the ability then to bring this thing together and you have the ability now. Even though we haven't looked at this energy, okay? This is past right here. You had the ability then to break it together, and the two of you chose to mirror each other. You guys are still mirroring each other. 
I don't care if y'all don't own and got in other relationships. Whatever this is, it's strong. Like I said, when you met this person, it's like time stood still for a minute. And I feel like y'all had each other's complete attention with the Six of Wands. I feel like both of you was asking about the other. But y'all weren't allowing the other to know how y'all were truly feeling. Okay? So, that's the past. Let me pull this up. And we are going to talk about... Yeah, I knew it. Like, somebody knew that they could commit to somebody. Period. This is all in their head. All in their mind. This is crazy. All right. So, past, current, and future. Or, yeah, past, current, future. Past, present, future. Okay. So, now we're going to talk about the present. You got the Eight of Wands. This is communication here. Because I feel like this, is, this was the problem in the past. What I tell you, you had the ability then... And you still have the ability. This is present right now as we speak. I feel like both of y'all are still mirroring each other. I feel like the two of you want to communicate. But I feel like neither of you are doing anything about it. Both of y'all are the magicians in this uh, situation. Okay. Both of you guys could be having a little pride and ego. But I feel like behind the pride and ego is fear. So like I said, whenever you would talk to this person in the past, you wouldn't really say what it is you wanted to say. Do you see that infinity sign? I feel like there's unconditional love between the two. Okay? It was something about the way this person would touch you. Look at this tail. Baby. Something about the way this person would touch you is just like, maybe you never felt that way before. It's like ecstasy. Okay? So like I said now, both y'all have, both of y'all want to talk. But let's get some energy around this communication. What happened with this, what's going on with this communication right now as we speak, Spirit? I feel like, like I said, both of y'all are wanting the same thing, okay? Three of Swords. It's like y'all broke each other's heart, okay? Someone could want to come in and apologize. The both of you could want to say, you know what? I was wrong. I shouldn't have said this because I'm just really getting... Things came out your mouth that you didn't want to say, but you said it as a defense mechanism to keep yourselves from being, um, I'm going to tell y'all what happened. And I, let me close my door. And I was actually talking about this on my live the other night. I said, when I met my twin, no one had ever made me feel rejected before. I said, it wasn't the things that he was saying. It was his, his energy. So that's what's going on here. You guys would talk to each other, but you would not really say what you was feeling because on a soul level, y'all souls were mirroring each other. You're still mirroring each other. Okay? You might have even said hurt, hurtful or meaningful things or just acted uninterested so you wouldn't get rejected, so you wouldn't get your feelings hurt. But you wind up, you guys are hurting anyway. <clears throat> okay? Because you both saw each other as complete wish fulfillment. It's just period. All right, so what the both of you guys want to do, y'all wish y'all could talk to each other. Someone here really wishes they could apologize, but it wouldn't just be one person apologizing. The other would apologize too, because if we're if the two of you guys are being honest with yourselves, there, there are a lot of things that were unsaid that should have been said, okay? Both of y'all had the ability then, and you still have the ability now to manifest this. Okay, so... Hell, y'all called each other in. Both of you guys' soul had evolved to the point where y'all could meet y'all's other half. This is twin flame situation all day long. Four ones, eight of ones, ace of cups. Spirit, let's get more on the present. This is the present situation. Let's get more on the present situation for my collective. Please and thank you. All right. Star in the reverse. Judgment with the four ones. Both of you think it can't be healed, but both of you wish to heal it. It's right here. Unbreak my heart. I'm hearing it. See you love me again. But I feel like this, this star in reverse, it's like you want to be hopeful. But we saw that strength card. Someone's ego is kicking in, like telling them, like, this, it, this can't be healed. This person doesn't want me. They're not into me like I'm into them. 
Both of y'all think that. Both of y'all think that the other is not into the other. It's just not the truth. Y'all souls, listen to me carefully. Look at this. 11, 11. Everything you are thinking and feeling, this person is thinking and feeling. This is y'all right here. It's just period. And so guess what? Y'all are sending the same vibrations to the universe. Of What vibration are you sending to the universe? Y'all the magician. So the vibration that she's sending out to the universe and all the universe knows how to do is answer commands. Both of y'all are telling the universe that this cannot be healed. Star in the reverse. And so guess what? It's not being healed. You have to be optimistic. Okay? You have to be honest with yourself and truly think about what it is that you want. 1055 on the phone. And stop allowing the fear and the doubt to take over. Okay? Because look at that. Not a cups at the bottom of the deck. I'm just getting that when the two of you are around each other, it's like nobody else exists. Y'all could 11, 11 on the phone. Talk to them, spirit. Y'all could be in a room full of motherfuckers and it's just, y'all just see each other. That's it. Okay? And guess what? People around you, they see the light as well. People around y'all saw that light. This connection is it's magical, it's powerful, it's strong, and it's real. But y'all gonna have to get y'all thoughts together, okay? Because communication is standing in the way of forward progress. But Spirit is letting you guys know you, this is what you are manifesting because the both of you are thinking that this cannot be healed, and that's not the truth. Just simply not true. Both of y'all need to come out of the star in the reverse and get in this energy. This is the King of Wands. The energy of the King of Wands is they set their sights on something and they go after it. Uh, without any fear or doubt of it, of them not obtaining whatever this is they're trying to get. Okay? And matter of fact, they're going to get what it is they're going after. That's the energy that you need to be in. Like, this is my person. Ain't nobody else for me but them. I'm going in. Y'all souls mirror each other. 1222 on the phone. Cut the deck. Nine of, cup of, nine of cups again. Complete wish fulfillment. Spirit, let's get more on this communication here. Let's get more on the other ones for the present situation. Dead. I'm telling you, it's fucking dead as fuck. And this leads us to our next, which is the future. Ace of Cups, another mirroring effect. Two people wanting the same motherfucking thing. Here's the thing. With the high priestess here, there's a lot of telepathic communication going on. Y'all are in sync. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Even though y'all ain't talking, y'all are in sync with one another. It's like when you're thinking of this person, they're thinking of you. And this is somebody who when you wake up, they're on your mind. Throughout the day, they're on your mind. When you go to sleep, they're on your mind. And guess what? Same thing for the other person. Same thing. That's why we got Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Y'all be mirroring the fuck out of each other. Y'all dream about each other, visit each other in y'all dreams. I feel like y'all have more conversations in y'all damn dreams than y'all do on the physical. 1333 on the phone. We saw 1111, 1222, and 1333. So, like I said, you guys are in sync still because it's a strong, I can never make this shit the fuck up. I said it was strong, it was real. It's, this is a lover's connection. Deep ass soulmate connection. That the angels are like, okay, I'm waiting. I'm ready when y'all ready. That what the angel up there saying. I'm ready when y'all ready. The two of you, okay. What I'm getting with these two people being naked. Y'all wish that y'all could be, y'all know that y'all can be yourselves around each other. This is a deep knowing now. The two of you know that y'all can be your authentic selves, but it's the ego. Okay, there still needs to be some changes here with the death card. There needs to be the death of the ego completely. Because the ego is what's been taken over. Whatever's been going on in this connection, you guys have manifested it. Oh, what I, I he stopped talking to me or she won't answer my call. I'm just telling you, 1444 on the phone. This is a connection that's protected by the divine. The two of you called each other in. Y'all were ready to meet each other. Y'all been running this connection the entire time. 1455. Yes, you have. Can't. 
Well, they were the karmic, but you got to look at what took place before they got with their karmic. Because there was a time when y'all was when y'all was talking. Something happened. And I feel like the things that happened, we saw the two of swords, seven of swords for that past energy. 15, 15 on the phone. Okay? Someone could have said, uh, well, how do you do you feel anything to me? What? Y'all, my phone said electric energy. I shit you. I'm not my phone, but my watch. And now I'm saying one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh my God, bro. What is going on? Listen, it said electric energy. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, this fucking connection is so damn strong. Both of y'all was like this, though, in y'all own way. Like I said, at one point, y'all was right there side by side. And nothing else mattered. Nothing even matter at all. Okay. One of y'all could have said, how do you feel about this connection? Whatever the person said, they only said it out of fear. And they were not being honest. 1616 on the phone. Two of swords, seven of swords. So this could be something like, well, they could have told you, well, I don't want a connection. The only reason they said that is because they thought you didn't want a connection. And I'm getting that this person would even go home and be like, why, why didn't I just tell this person what I really wanted? Why? Fear. Because your soul was, was projecting to them or reflecting to them that they were not enough. And they soul was probably doing the same shit to you. Okay? This is not how people really feel right here. My watch literally said it, bruh. Electric energy. That's how strong this shit is. Both y'all hurt right now. Both y'all miss each other. And both of y'all just wish to have the opportunity. It's like if y'all could come together again, both of y'all probably would be stumbling over yourselves trying to apologize. Because that's how bad y'all want to be with each other. Y'all held so much back. Y'all held so much back from one another when y'all had the opportunity to say what it is you want. Say what you need to say. When you had the opportunity to say what you needed to say, you held back out of fear of being rejected. Out of fear of not being enough. Out of fear of this person not wanting you as bad as you wanted them. When I'm telling you, from the time y'all met each other, you've been mirroring each other. If this person is with a karma, it's because they didn't feel good enough for you. Okay, now, so let's put this up because, like I said, right now we're going towards the future. Okay? Change, there, there, there's still some changes that need to happen here. And it's the, the death of the ego. So that this communication, spirit supports this communication. It's wide ass open. It's wide open. I feel like physical beings are blocking it some kind of way. And it could be, and see, this is, let me tell y'all how we manifest. Just because you call someone where they didn't answer the phone. Well, what were you thinking when you were dialing the number? Watch. He ain't going to pick up the phone. Watch. So, guess what? That's what you manifested. For him not to pick up the phone. The whole time the phone's sitting there ringing. I know he ain't going to answer. I know he ain't going to answer. And he don't answer. Spirit says both y'all been the fucking magician the entire time. The connection so fucking powerful. Can't no outside forces fuck with this. Y'all in control of this connection. This is a powerful connection. The one I'm picking up on tonight, powerful as fuck. No amount of magic or nothing. You know, I pick up a lot of karmics doing uh, spell work on our masculines. No amount of magic can fuck with this connection. It's too protected by the divine. The two people in the connection is running the connection. Just because you say you want something out of your mouth, you have to think of, okay, is, your, is everything in alignment? Is your mind, body, and soul in alignment with what you say you want? You can't say, I want to be with this person, but in your mind, but they don't want me. That's fear. That's lack. So what you're manifesting is fear and lack. That's why the star was in the reverse. Someone needs to understand how we truly manifest. If you really want this connection, everything got to be in alignment. If you know you want this person, you got to know it in your mind, body, and soul. And speak that shit into existence. Don't speak nothing negative about it. Don't even have a negative thought about it. And both y'all going to manifest each other just like that. Because from the time y'all met to now, ain't neither one of y'all stop thinking about the other. Period. 
Let's get to the future spirit. Page of Wands. It's a message. It's good news. What's the good news? Both y'all motherfuckers feel the same. Both y'all feel, I'm like, my face is on fire. Both of y'all feel the same. What did my watch say? Electric energy. This is some powerful shit. So let's talk about what's about to happen in the future. I hope. Thank you, spirit. Jump on off the cliff. I, it's like this right here. I want somebody for four weeks straight. Listen to me now. Because it's about discipline. For four weeks straight, I want you to think nothing but positive energy about this person. Don't let not one negative, not even if you hear a reading of this person, oh, they over there with the corn. Mm -mm. Say, don't claim it. That ain't my reading. Not my masculine. My masculine on my way to me. For four weeks straight, I want somebody to think positive about the other person. And watch this shit change. Watch something be divinely orchestrated. Because like I said, all the universe know how to do is take orders. And your thoughts, the shit that you speak and what you think, it sends vibrations to the universe. And they just going to answer you. So you got to be careful what you speak and what you think. You can't even try and joke to somebody else. Oh, I don't care nothing about him. You're speaking that you don't give a fuck about this person that you know you're in love with. So guess what the universe hears? Okay, so like I said, everything has to be in alignment. You got to know mind, body, and soul that you want this person. And I don't want to hear that shit that you don't because I, I see these cards. I feel them, bruh. Or sis, whoever this is I'm talking to. I'm getting, I'm getting April. If you, time you hear this reading. Okay. For four weeks. Just do just that. And anytime a negative thought creep in your head about doubt or insecure, I mean insecurities or any fear, reinforce that shit with something positive. So let me tell you how you reinforce negative thoughts. As soon as the negative thought come in, oh, well, they with somebody else, they don't care about me. You need to write it out that they love you and only you. You need to say it out loud that they love you and only you. And you need to think that they love you and only you. That's how you reinforce positive, sh I mean, negative shit and get it out the way. Okay? That's only if you really want this person for real, for real. We say we want things and then when it get right there, we'll be scared as fuck. So if you know for a fact you want this person to come on in, you tired of waiting, tired of hurting with that three of swords, for four weeks straight, think nothing but positive thoughts. Visualize you and this person. Okay? And then before you know it, y'all will be coming to each other. It's like, Spirit's going to divinely orchestrate. I don't give a damn if you live in Alaska and they live in Africa. Spirit's going to divinely orchestrate this thing. Because that's all the universe been doing since day one. It's taking orders from us because we co-create with the universe. People think they don't have no say-so in their life. Whatever the fuck you're going through, you manifested it. You know, we'd be so quick to, now it's because they doing spell work because they can't, this connection so fucking powerful. No outside forces can fuck with this connection. Only you can. Only you and that person can because y'all souls mirror each other. Ten of swords. Seven of cups. I'm hearing that. Where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I'm hearing it. This is not, is it how I go? This is not my fault. I don't know the words, but that's what I'm hearing by Tony Braxton. Where did we go wrong? Guess what both y'all feel? Betrayal. Huh? Tell me right now you don't feel betrayed by your twin. They feel the same way. Your souls is mirroring each other now. Well, I don't know why they feel betrayed by me. They the one over there with the crump. Listen now, shit. At the beginning, you had the 11-11. That mean both y'all were standing right there in each other's faces. What the fuck happened from that moment? You can't put it all on the other person. Okay? What happened? Did you not speak what you really wanted? 
Did you put some negative thoughts into the universe? We got to be accountable here because I'm literally reading these cards and two people manifested where they are in this connection. This was not the doing of just one person. This was not the doing of some fucking karmic doing spell work. This was the doing of two powerful ass souls. Where did we go wrong? Ten of swords, seven of cups. What else, dear? I feel like both of y'all just like this. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me both y'all ain't in fucking hermit mode. Possibly just focusing on yourself, going within, focusing on your work, but wanting to go out and get this love offer or receive a love offer. You cooped up by yourself right now, working on yourself, but you'd rather be out with this person. I'll wait. Leave it in the comments. Both of y'all want the same damn thing. Both of y'all doing the same damn thing. But then it's like, you want the night of cuss, but then boom. This is fear. I want this, night of cups. The beginning of a relationship. But I don't know if that's what they want. So let me just act like I don't want that. So I don't get my hopes up. You have to expect. Why do you think successful motherfuckers is successful? Because that's what the fuck they expect. So like I said with the phone call, if you dial this person's number and in the back of your mind, you saying they ain't going to answer the phone. Watch, they probably doing this. They probably doing that. They not going to answer the phone. You telling the universe you expect for this person not to answer the phone. So the universe says, okay, I will let, I will not let them answer the phone. You have, y'all got to drop this. Y'all are standing in the way of each other in spirit. It's just, it's like wide ass open, just like it was on that lover's card. This connection is divinely protected and divinely orchestrated. Okay, so there's the emperor. I told y'all this is a twin flame. What else, spirit? I will never make it up. I will never make this shit the fuck up. <sighs> and it's been, it's been a long time. Long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. So, seven of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. Both y'all been a single for so long. You guys are in this now. This is future energy. You guys will be in this self mastery here, and I feel like you're gonna get to that point to where you're just tired of not having this person i'm telling you what to do to call it in and it'll be right there for you know it give it four weeks of solid manifesting i'm not telling you go out there and buy no damn candles or, or or do no spell that's not what the fuck i'm saying use your mind these motherfuckers is powerful they magicians everything that the two of these motherfuckers need is already within them you ain't got to go outside yourself do nothing just make sure that your mind, body, and soul is in alignment with the shit that you asking for. Your heart can't say one thing, but your mouth saying another. Okay? So don't you say, oh, Sash told me to do this spell. I ain't told you no shit like that. Huh? Use the magic that's within you. Reinforce that shit. Positive reinforcement. Think positive thoughts. Say positive things to describe the connection that you want with this person. And feel that shit in your heart. Do it for four weeks. Watch this motherfucker come through. Watch him come through. You can't but see to completely drop resistance. It means you got to drop that shit all the way. It can't be, well, I'm, I'm just going to wait on them to call. I'm not going to call. That's, you, that's resistance. Because why are you saying that? Why are you saying, well, I'm not going to call my wait on them to call? Well, because they was, they 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 need to call me first. What? That's ego. That's resistance. That's ego. You got to completely drop that shit and be in flow of it. Be in flow of this fucking connection. Do it for four weeks. And I'm talking about do it the right way now. And if you don't know how to manifest, look that shit up. Look it up, okay? But like I said, everything just has to be in alignment. Your mind, body, and soul got to be on the same accord. And watch this. Watch it come in. Watch it come in for you. Watch it come in. What was I saying about the King of Wands? Taking action, going after what it is that they want and having the expectations that they're that they going to get it. That's what these two people going to do. 
Because whatever the fuck you do, they do. Y'all marry each other. You still marry each other. You marry each other right now. You marry each other when you met. I don't care what situation they in. Y'all in control of this thing. You didn't gave your power away. Both of you. To fear. And fear is fucking low vibrational as fuck. Being the energy of love. See this person through the eyes of love, regardless of what, have ha what has happened in the past or what you thought happened. See this person through the eyes of love. See this person and everything around you through the eyes of love. Be in the flow of the connection. Because like I said, this is so fucking powerful. Nothing outside of y'all can fuck it up. So I don't want to hear no more of that. Oh, this is only for the motherfuckers that I'm reading for today. This is not everybody's twin flame reading. But the two motherfuckers that I'm reading for today, you can no longer say somebody else did spell work. No, this y'all did that shit with the shit you said, the shit that you thought, and the shit that you did. Get in position, get in position to receive this love offer from this person. I don't care if you are the emperor or the empress, whoever you are, get in position to receive. And what I say on my on my other video on my other channel, in order to get in position, you gotta make room for it, baby. So if there's nothing, if your mind is filled with negative thoughts about this person, you got to let them go and fill your mind with positive thoughts, positive reinforcement. And before you know it, these two people will come together. Y'all, this was a powerful ass reading. It was a powerful ass reading, okay? So let me get a message from Spirit. Oh my God, I'm about to cry, bro. I'm so fucking for real. Cut the dick just like that. What was I saying stopping y'all and y'all subconscious? What's keeping y'all from having a brand new beginning? This fresh air card is a brand new beginning. What's keeping y'all from having a brand new beginning? Read the card. Read it out loud. I can hear y'all. Fear. Vacuum away the fear. This is most definitely your twin flame. They want exactly what you want. Both y'all be sitting there daydreaming about each other. Okay, use your God box. It says, write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper. Place them into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. Make sure it's all positive and then get what? Spirit says, what appears to be a problem is actually part of the answer. Prayer is a blessing in disguise. Because I feel like with the two of you keeping yourselves apart, you guys have possibly, we saw that nine of pentacles. That's self-mastery. You get to that self-mastery, you get to that nine of pentacles before you get to the emperor and the empress. So what you've really done is taught yourself patience, self-love, respect, because losing something is the opportunity to appreciate. Hmm? Y'all done taught each other y'all own lessons on this journey. It did exactly what it was supposed to. What they be saying, it's giving what it's supposed to give. Okay? Whoever y'all are in this reading, y'all some powerful motherfuckers. 3333 on the phone, spirit. The answer to the question involves a spiritually based Romantic relationship. It's a spiritual connection. So that means nothing in the fucking physical outside of these two motherfuckers can stop these two motherfuckers from being together. Because it's a spiritual connection. I don't give a fuck about no magic, about none of that shit. Y'all the magicians. This is destiny. The sooner one person here changes their mind about how they view this, so will the other. Whatever you doing, they doing it. I don't care that y'all ain't talking and y'all ain't seeing each other. See, people let their mind get the best on them. You free your mind, the rest of it gonna follow. Okay? Could be a lot of self-sabotage going on. All love was in fear because of what this person's soul was mirroring, what y'all souls was mirroring to the other. That's what the fuck these twin, the twin flame supposed to do. Make you feel rejected. Make you feel like you ain't enough so you can go within yourself and heal that lack. So that when you when you look at this person, you should not feel no lack. What I say, it make you go within yourself. It did what it was supposed to do. It's given what it was supposed to give. Okay? So with the future right here, if you do that shit for four weeks straight, 
this is coming together. It's coming together. That is what I have. It's your girl spiritual sad. Listen, I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Okay, only think positive thoughts. Somebody powerful, someone could be a medium. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Ascended masters. Huh? Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding y'all through this connection. Someone here could be a medium. You have the natural ability to connect to departed loved ones. Y'all powerful as fuck. Both of you is. If you're a medium, so are they. The only difference is people got to be willing to tap off into it, child. So stop saying, oh, they doing magic on my twin. Give fuck what they doing. What are you doing on your twin? What What are you sending out there in the universe? Yeah, you say you want to be with them, but what are you really saying to yourself? What messages are you sending yourself? Because whatever you're telling yourself in, your, in the back of your mind is what you're telling your twin in the 5D. They can feel when it's safe to come in and when it ain't. And all you putting out is fear, even though your mouth is saying one thing, you putting out all this fucking fear, that fear is going out there to the universe and your person is receiving that message. Oh, they don't want me to come in. Y'all be communicating like fuck listening. And I want y'all to come back here in four weeks. On this video. And tell me what happened. Did you manifest a phone call? Did you manifest a date with this person? A meetup? Something has been manifested. If you do that shit in the correct order for four weeks straight. Something in April is, is going to happen with this powerful ass couple here. Till next time.